Welcome to 30th of July's World Blessing. Supreme Mother mentions here that may you be a master almighty authority who puts every elevated thought into practice. So you think something which is great and elevated and it is put into practice. That means it comes into the practical life and it is experienced by self and others. A master almighty authority, child of almighty authority or creation of his is someone whose thoughts and actions are the same. So you think and you do it. If your thoughts are very elevated but your actions are not according to your thoughts, that means we think something great but we end up doing something negative or impure or we don't even end up doing it. You cannot then be called a master almighty authority because it's not matching. So check whether you put into practice the elevated thoughts you have, whether you put into practicality, practicality or not. Or are you postponing it? Are you finding faults in it? Are you finding uh, negativity? Are you thinking of impure thoughts around it? The sign of a master almighty authority is that he will be able to use a practical power that is needed in that moment. Whether it's patience, whether it's tolerance, whether it's teamwork, whether it's humility, whether it's understanding, whether it's discipline, whether it's politeness, whether it's kindness. So many qualities and powers, they'll know what to use when. Keep your physical and subtle powers under such control that you are able to use any particular power you need at that very moment. Keep your physical and subtle powers under such control. That means subtle powers are mind, intellect and habits. Physical powers are the five senses. They are in our control that you are able to use any particular power you need at that very moment. Om Shanti.